Now it's the most fun part of the test. Road test, let's go. now I'm on the road this is my third day and I've been actually uh, test driving it for a few days and then um, there are a few things that I would like to share with you all right number one <clears throat> the new Santa Fe 2024 uh, what I'm driving right now is that 2.5 turbo and it is uh, two-wheel drive right I have been driving a couple of 2.5 models and um, you know uh, the new Santa Fe 2024 new Santa Fe is somewhat different I mean compared to Kia Sorento 2.5 turbo it was a very fun SUV you know why because it was gasoline and it was a turbocharged and even though it was an SUV when you actually floor it it has a kick it takes off and then like oh my god it's just like driving a four-door sedan I mean it wasn't as fast as like I wouldn't say um, you know uh, some high-performance really fast you know high-performance cars but then 2.5 Kia Turbo was fun enough and it was pretty spacious inside uh, inside the two but then Santa Fe 2.5 turbo uh, uh, which is a this model right it is yeah it is still fun it is still uh, it still has enough power but then uh, it's somewhat uh, very soft compared to other 2.5 liter cars such as Kia Sorento Stinger uh, Genesis 2.5 GV70 you know it is somewhat soft so even when you put it on a sports mode and then actually floor it yeah it will go but it doesn't have boom you know just taking off that launch kick you know what i mean so yeah like on a highway if you want to pass cars ahead of you whatever um you can believe me you can because it has enough power but it is rather soft as you can see from the exterior the new Santa Fe has gotten so big compared to uh, the previous generation. I mean, I may be wrong. I don't know the exact dimension of the new Santa Fe. So based on my uh, driving experience on this car, I would rather say that this is a very comfortable SUV. Why? Number one, inside it's a humongous. I mean, the Kia Sorento, GV70, it was still very big, but I'm saying this is a lot bigger uh, that's just my personal opinion so uh, I'm gonna um, put the exact dimension or how big inside is on the bottom of the uh, video but then yes it is definitely definitely bigger than the Sorento it is a slightly smaller than Palisade that what the people say so yeah um, still fun but it doesn't have that too much a kick that you uh, speed racers enjoy but I'm saying it is a rather very soft and comfortable. Number two, the new uh, new Santa Fe is very comfortable. I mean, for the past two days, I've been driving here. I've been driving on the local roads. I'll be driving on the highway just to see my friends to go here and there. So on purpose, I have been driving a lot of different conditions. Why? Because it is my duty to deliver, you know, how I exactly feel driving the Santa Fe right but I gotta be God honest with you even going over the speed bumps or even bumpy road it is as comfortable as a four-door sedans believe me it is a lot softer a lot more comfortable than Koreans like you know what I mean so yeah number two uh, even though this is a SUV this is really really comfortable even right now yeah I'm driving on a local the Siri road 
well right now the pavement is rather very clean and smooth but even like when you're going over speed bumps like I said speed bumps even bumpy road some uh, potholes and all that right still yeah the shock the suspension does exactly what it needs to do and then I am actually surprised that SUV can be this much comfortable number three this is probably the reason why I like this car so much you know uh, lately all the cars they have been adopted you know highway driving assistant lane keeping assistant and all that you know all those high-tech stuff that makes you uh, driving a lot more fun and a lot more safer but then I think they have they might have adopted I'm not exactly sure but they might have adopted maybe second generation third generation I don't know for sure it's been definitely upgraded you know why because well HDA for the, uh, for example the HDA for example for those who are not very familiar with HDA I think they call it highway driving assistance oh my god the highway driving assistance has gotten so much smarter so when I was driving on a highway I literally didn't have to touch anything I mean if you let go of your hands from the steering wheel on the cluster it says please grab your steering wheel or please place your hands on the steering wheel but then previous generation like I don't know even even the last car that uh, I test drove right you will actually have to put your hands on the steering wheel and then actually grab it and then the sign will go off but right now I don't know if it's a good thing or not but then it is a lot more convenient by gently just putting your hands on the steering wheel the sign will go away and then as well as um, and then also when you are using the smart cruise control while driving right it not only maintains the speed but you know in Korea like when you're driving on a highway you will see a few of uh, the speeding cameras from here and there right so navigation and all that I guess it's because it's been upgraded but I think uh, uh, but I think it's because it's so smart and then when you are nearing the uh, when you are nearing the speed camera even though let's just say you are maintaining your speed or your set your smart cruise control at 100 kilometers per hour which is about 55 miles per hour right and then speed limit is about let's just say 45 you know miles per hour or 80 kilometers uh, per hour the car will automatically slow down to the safe speed and then once you pass the speeding camera it will pick up the speed and maintain the original set point the set speed which is 100 kilometers per hour and lane keeping assistant oh my god I'm loving this the very first time when I um, encountered the lane keeping assistance on other models right uh, I was somewhat not feeling comfortable because it seems like a car is trying to limit or exclude me from managing and controlling the car you know myself but then right now like when you are uh, going on a highway or even the local roads right it's reading the lanes on your left and on your right so accurately right even right now like I can literally just drive without it can you see the steering wheel moving by itself it is exactly reading right now it's not straight road it's you know sometimes you need to go left sometimes you need to go to right but then right now yeah it is doing it by yourself you activate the smart cruise control system so basically yes it's just like a Tesla autopilot you don't really have to uh, do much yeah again like I said the cluster on the cluster you will see the sign if you let go over your hands from the steering wheel but once in a while you can just gently touch it but of course uh, right now the highway driving assistance uh, uh, lane keeping assistance smart cruise control system and all that it makes your driving so much easier and so much more comfortable and convenient right but then um, can I trust it 100% for the experience I had with the new Santa Fe for the past two days I was actually feeling safe 
you know, people might say like, oh my God, yeah, I have a HDA, I have a uh, LKA. So, but what if, what if one of those, you know, the high tech stuff is a malfunctioning? What if you collide into your car uh, ahead of you or uh, next to you? But then based on my experience for the past two days, I wasn't feeling unsafe or anything. So I was actually pretty, I was pretty confident using it on a highway. That's what amazed me the most. And number four, this is a six seater. Uh, the new Santa Fe comes in five seaters, six seaters, seven seaters. And I think six seaters is probably the most practical. As you saw from the interior review, the third row is pretty handy. You know what I mean? So uh, when you are not using it, you can pretty much just fold it and use it as a trunk space. But then when you are actually um, going somewhere with more than two, three people and using the third row as fourth and fifth passengers, right? It is really comfortable. Um, you know, many of the subscribers, you guys know that how tall I am and how heavy I am, right? I am 180 centimeters. That's approximately 5'11", right? So even for me to sitting in the back, in the third row, yeah, it wasn't like super comfortable as the second row or, or, or the, uh, the passenger seat. But then it wasn't. It wasn't as hard or as uncomfortable as other vehicles. Because they wanted to obtain more space in the third row, if you carefully looking, uh, if you carefully look at the uh, roof, right, it's slightly pushed in. So for people like me who is over like, I would say like 180 centimeters, you still have a lot of head space, you know, head room. So yeah, even though you are sitting in the third row, is not as uncomfortable as you think you know what i mean like uh, squeezing into like a sorrento or or even for the carnival yeah it wasn't bad because the average height and the weight of even korean people are you know increasing you know what i mean they are getting taller they are getting bigger they are getting fatter you know so i think hyundai engineers and Kia engineers, they may have adopted all those considerations into making new cars. So even though you are sitting in the third row seats, you are not going to be as uncomfortable as you expect. So it is okay. For the children, oh, it's, it's more than enough. So there is a couple other things that I would like to share, right? Um, interior, I'm very satisfied with it. Why? It's big, it's comfortable, beautiful Napa leather, big screen, you know, all those high-tech stuff, built-in cam, you know, uh, uh, what else? The Bose speakers that I can miss out, you know, uh, enough of space when you're driving, and then um, here and there, there are so many charging ports. Yeah, so basically, uh, you can, you know, go anywhere, and you are basically ready to utilize this vehicle yeah i gotta tell you because this car was originally designed during the pandemic right engineers and who were involved in manufacturing this car made so much effort and time into it why because think about it i mean during the pandemic people of korea or people of even uh, even in the other countries they can't even go anywhere so yeah, basically I was stuck for four years and then I recently took a trip to Bangkok for the first time in four years. So what became so popular during the pandemic? Camping. I didn't know the camping was that much fun and then that much popular among people. So because people were so stressed, they were so desired to do outdoor activities uh, because they can go out of the country, Camping became really popular during the pandemic. Sorrento, Palisade, and all them, you know, it's very idealized and, um, you know, very practical if you are trying to go camping. But then um, I think this car is even better because engineers and all those people who are participating, manufacturing the new Santa Fe, right? They made camping 
into their consideration. So that's why the design of the exterior is a little bit ugly, to be honest with you. But then, if you think about it, even when you're opening the trunk, the trunk space is a humongous. The opening of the trunk is even bigger than any other SUVs that you can think of. The trunk door opens even more so you can have an easier access to the third row or to the trunk space. And plus all those ports that you can easily use. I mean, this is not an electric vehicle, so it doesn't have the V2L, but still, it is more than enough to uh, have a fun camping trip um, uh, with your family and with your friends. The rear design of the car, it is what it is because they had camping in mind. So if you're not sure what it is like in the third row or the uh, trunk space, even the opening and then, you know, the opening space and all that, right? Please watch the, uh, the interior and exterior review over the Santa Fe. Yeah, if you watch the part one, you will definitely understand why it was designed this way. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to agree with you. Um, personally, I don't like the design. Even the tail lamp, um, tail lamps, it was placed a lot lower than any other cars. But then, by the Korean traffic law, right? By the Korean traffic law, all those the red tail lights and all that, right? It needs to be placed on the surface, not on the door. So that's why the tail lamp is placed a lot lower than any other cars. So you might have a wonder that why the hell did they put or place those tail lamps so low? Some people say uh, this the rear looks like an ugly discovery. You know, after listening to engineers, I kind of understand why it was designed that way. If you win some, you lose some, right? In this case, the new Santa Fe gained a lot more space and practicality, right? But then you lost the design. I can't argue with it. Like I said, if you win some, you lose some, right? So I think it's a probably and the most optimized vehicle for camping. Enough, uh, it's a big enough, comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it would have been better if it was a hybrid or something, but the Hyundai has not started manufacturing the hybrid model yet. But uh, there is a rumor that there's gonna be like a 1.6 turbo hybrid, um, you know, coming up pretty soon. But then I don't think that they have actually started manufacturing it. So yeah, it's, uh, overall, it's a really fun vehicle. I mean, even yesterday, uh, all my family, including my daughters and my wife, my wife being on the passenger seat and my daughter sitting in the back, they said it's a really comfortable, it's a really quiet. Well, it's part of a reason that I'm driving a diesel car. But then this is a gasoline, and then even though this is gasoline, it is very quiet. The new Santa Fe has gained the practicality but then it lost the design. It has gained a huge practical space in the third row and in the trunk space. But then I guess, yeah, when it comes to the design outside, exterior design in the rear, yeah, it's, it's not actually, uh, yeah, it didn't meet people's expectation. To sum it up, I would say the new Santa Fe is very comfortable. It is as comfortable as a four-door sedan SUV, especially the suspension. I was actually amazed. Number two, all those high tax, you know, uh, LKA, HDA, uh, smart cruise control system, using all those high tech stuff while driving. Yes, it definitely, definitely makes your driving more safer. That is one thing that I can promise you. But for your own safety, put your hands on the steering wheel at all time. You know what I mean? Because it's a machine after all. You don't know what can go wrong with machines. You know what I mean? And number three, the trunk space and the third row. Like I said again, this car was originally uh, 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 engineered and developed during the pandemic. So Hyundai engineers had thought a lot of a consideration into uh, manufacturing the new Santa Fe. Thanks to them, we have a huge space in the third row 
and in the trunk space. Five seaters, six seaters, seven seaters are available, but I think six seater is probably the most practical because you can have six people in your car, including yourself. And when you are not having six people, you can use their third row as your trunk space. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. If this video was helpful, please smash that like button. Yo, my uh, subscription is stopped at uh, 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 1,700 something. Please help me make some uh, money from Google's and <laughs> YouTube. Please smash that like button. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please smash that like button. If you uh, if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, we'll come uh, come back with a better videos next time. If this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe. Your likes and subscription makes me dance while I'm inside a car. But yeah, I can I can dance, you know. But uh, yeah, it definitely helps me uh, create better videos. Why? Because it encourages me to be a better uh, editor, better reviewer. So yeah, please, please, please put like button and subscribe. Thank you. I'll come back with a better review next time. You have a great day. Psst.